Hello guys, this is Donald's Movies, and welcome to the 54th episode of the World of Warcraft Lore Q&As. Now, in this video, as in pretty much any of the videos of the Lore Q&As, you can send your questions by the YouTube comment section, Facebook, and Twitter, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I mean, don't send more YouTube personal messages, I know I've been saying that for like the past 10 episodes, but that just don't. I, I should probably stop saying that because... It's been like 10-15 episodes, so people kind of get the message. But I still get an occasional notification of the YouTube Prosa message, but I can't even find it. And it's really hard to manage around, so... It's honestly the best way for you is just to leave it in the YouTube comment section, because every time before I make a QA, and a I just go to the YouTube comment section and I just read all the questions. I know I don't always pick the questions, but if I don't, just feel free to send them again on the next video. Sometimes I see your questions, I think it could be interesting, but I kinda save it for the next video, so I might even pick up your question for the video after that. So I'm already taking way too much time on the usual announcement, and I also have another thing to talk about, just something quickly. So I don't know if you guys have been following me on Facebook and Twitter, but I recently, well sort of posted something about a playthrough, like a let's play, not really a let's play, but yeah, sort of a thing. What I wanted to do was um, Warcraft 3, like the Lords of War clans. What, what am I talking about? Lo <laughs> Lords of War clans? I mean, Lord of the clans. You know the book. Yeah, well, you have a campaign, like a fan-made campaign, pretty much. That's called Warcraft 3 Lord of the clans. You also have a few others. I could maybe do that if people li actually like it. But it there's also like um, Day of the Dragon and also a few other things, I believe. I believe there's Will of Eternity, I'm not certain. I know there's a few, but... These are the, like the two most popular ones, so I'm thinking about doing Work of Three Lord of the Clans, like 15 minute episodes, 15 to 20 minutes, maybe like 10 episodes. I already kinda played, I didn't really finish it, I kinda played a bit, so I sort of know what's going on, so I'm guessing it's gonna take like 3 or 4 hours. So I can try to edit some of it, but I kinda mostly want to keep it as a sort of a playthrough so you can see it. I know a lot of people have played Warcraft 3 here, but just don't want to like install it again. And for the people that haven't watched the, or actually like read the book, Maybe they don't know what's going on in there, so I mean, I mean the campaign isn't exact as it is in the book, but it's pretty close. And you can actually learn about the book, like pretty much what's happening during those events from the campaign. So just give me a feedback if you'd like to see that. I'm thinking of uploading it like every two days. Right now I'm kind of doing three videos a day. I know I promised you, but I'm not really doing it like f I'm doing it full time, but I'm not completely doing it full time. I still gotta study and I gotta do other stuff, so... I think like three videos, a video every three days, just kind of depends which video, I'm kind of late with this one, but for example those class RP guys, they take a lot of time, so I can't really do them every day, or every second day, but I'll try to do them as, as much as I can. So, I'm thinking about like recording the Warcraft 3 Lord of the Clans, and just like posting it every day, like ev between the videos, if I'm posting every third day, I can kind of post it. Like a day before I post an actual video, so it's gonna sort of be filler content, but the thing I don't want to do is just fill the channel with Let's Plays. I know a lot of channels, I know a lot of people even complain about that. A lot of channels, like, once they get bigger, they start, like, doing these Let's Plays, and a lot of people get annoyed by that. I don't really want to do that, because, I mean, I'm bigger, obviously, than I was before, but I really don't want to, like, start doing that right now or anytime in the future. But I'm thinking, this, this isn't really, like, a new game, this is more of, like, a... Well, I guess it's Warcraft 3, so it's kind of related to the content I'm doing. So if you guys are interested in that, just leave a comment below. Or just give me your feedback on what you would like to see. As I do want to do that, but I don't really want to force it if people don't really care about it. So I'm already rambling way too much. This is almost four minutes in. So let's just get into the actual questions while you're here in the first place. So let's not waste any more time and let me just get into the first question. Alright, so the first question is by Ethan and he asks, What's the story behind the Hills Bread Worgen? So, the Hillsbred Worgen, if you guys don't know, it's mostly from the Cataclysm period. And there really isn't too much behind them, but in short, they were humans, mostly from South Shore and the Hillsbred fields. And since the Forsaken attacked them, and they knew they would be turned into the undead and pretty much forced to serve Sylvanas and the Forsaken in death, they decided to take the Blood Offering and become the Worgen with the Crowley thing. And it worked two ways, because Worgen apparently can't be raised by the Valkyr, and they also managed to escape as well, and it was sort of a way out for them, even though many of them ended up dying, but apart from that, there really isn't all that much, except that they kinda took the curse willingly, and yeah, they're, they're pretty much humans that turned into Worgen. Alright, next question is by Arvin, and he asks, Do you think the Army of the Light that will end Sonic his vision would be the final battle of the Warcraft universe? If so, how far from the end do you think we are? Alright, so the entire final battle, like, the final battle is really a weird concept. I don't think, like, after this battle there will be, like, no Warcraft universe, not Azeroth, no Draenor, no Outland. But I think it will sort of be the final Burning Legion battle against Azeroth. 
and that in this battle we will finally like just completely destroy the burning legion and they will never bother azeroth again meaning that the demons will be defeated along with sergeras and maybe we will even find a way to destroy them in the twisting nether or maybe even destroy the twisting nether and they, that way they will never respawn really but no one really knows what it is but i personally see it as sort of like a big battle against the burning legion that will be bigger than the last two like the first Invasion and uh, one in the during the third war, but the thing is I do think Sergeras being a part of this And I feel like we'll see him in the game for the first time But I mean this battle even though it's called it's sort of called the final battle and a lot of people speculated that It is the final battle I don't really think it would destroy the entire universe and that there would be like no Warcraft left But pretty much as I said I see it as the final burning legion invasion All right next question is by Valentino and he asks Okay, so many people are speculating that Nagar coming in a new expansion, I would like it too, but they also say the main villain would be Queen Ashara. So as a Naga, I would rather be neutral and fight for Queen, she is like a god to Naga, than join some humans or orcs. I think you were saying something about the Naga tribe joining alliance with a horde like Dark Spirits did, but I wouldn't like it because their queen is very much alive and powerful. My question is, is it possible that Naga as a whole race join one of the factions together with their queen? So I honestly don't really see that happening. I mean but again it's just like a fantasy universe so everything honestly is possible but i mean then again it's like a fantasy universe so pretty much everything is possible but i personally don't see ashara like the queen ashara joining the alliance of the horde especially alliance since you know the night elves like the entire night elf thing that happened plus she's evil and i don't really see her becoming good all of a sudden but the scenario i do see her in is maybe being together with the old gods and being the main villain of the expansion, or at least one of the main villains, with the end boss maybe being like an old god like Enzot. So maybe a tribe, as I said like in the previous videos, maybe like a tribe of them will split apart and see what she's doing is wrong, like she's opposing like the traditions or whatever it is. Yeah, I don't even know too much about the Naga traditions, but there might be something they can make up. But I think it would be something new and unique and could even be possible with the new Ashara, like the Eye of Ashara copywriting that is happening, so it could actually be a new expansion. Alright, next question is by Nerdlord, and he asks, What are the most racist races in World of Warcraft? Orc, humans, trolls, or murlocs? Alright, so this is sort of a weird question, and racism, I guess in some cases, is sort of a subjective thing, and can really depend on the race and past experiences. So, for example, orcs skating on Blood Elves, if they were in contact with him during the initial horde attack, I mean, they can't hate him because maybe they were imprisoned. But race-wise, I would probably go with the Blood Elves, since they're quite an arrogant race, and they think they're better than other people. And after that, I would probably go with the Trolls, since they also think they're quite superior, and maybe also the Forsaken as well. But their hate really isn't, like, racist, like, race-wise. They pretty much just hate anything and all of the living and everything. But again, as I said, it's all subjective and you can also have like racist Thorin, even though they aren't really racist, so it doesn't really depend on the race, although some races, maybe like the Blood Elves, could be more racist than the others. Alright, next question is by Sulfirion, or is it Sulfirion, and he asks, What do you think about roleplaying with my characters together? For example, my Death Knight is my dad, my Warrior is my teacher, etc. Alright, so I honestly think this is a good idea and it is doable because I've sort of been doing the same thing with my characters, although that was like 4 or 5 years back. Like, my main character is an orc warrior, which is around like 60, now probably like 65 years old, and he has a son which is in like his 20s, he was a warrior, but then he died and was turned into a dead knight, so their relationship was a bit weird and they were sort of in the same guild, like the RP guild I'm in, they sort of joined the same, well I sort of joined the same guild with those characters, so, you know, that, that's, like, I had two characters, and sometimes I would show up to the events with both of them. Well, not both of them at the same time, but, like, with my main and my dead knight. But I can, as I said, like, I can only see this working if you're in, like, a guild or an organized group, so everyone knows who you are and also knows your second character and his story, because it would be weird if you were just, like, role-playing by yourself. And not only just weird, but I don't really see any fun of it. Imagine just, like... Logging into your character, just typing something, then re-logging into the other character and typing something. But showing up to events with different characters and making all these plot twists could actually be pretty fun. And I do see it being doable, especially if you have like an organized group. Alright, and the last question is by Mr. Random, and he asks, Why do you think there would always need to be a Lich King to stop the Scourge ravaging the world if the Lich King ordered the Scourge to ravage the world? Alright, so that is a bit of a trick question there. I'm guessing the main thing with that is that the Scourge are just like this mindless horde and need to be controlled by someone if they're not 
they just do whatever they want and since they don't really have a brain, they don't really think for themselves, they don't really have their own will, it isn't going to be like really good for the citizens of Azeroth since they're pretty much an uncontrolled mob, like an uncontrolled horde of undead. So the way I see it is that they have a Lich King who is pretty much the brain of the entire operation, the entire scourge, and he just channels them into certain directions. So he's pretty much their will, they don't have their own free wills, he pretty much controls them. Now I guess people could argue that the Scourge should be free just as the Death Knights and be able to make their own decisions, but you do have to realize that Death Knights and the rest of the Scourge aren't really the same, they didn't, weren't, well, they weren't really made in the same way, and those ghouls and skeletons aren't just going to get back to their old lives and be these heroes of the Horde in the Alliance. Alright, so that is all I have for this Q&A, thanks a lot for watching, pretty much as I said in the intro, I already like wasted like 3 minutes, 4 minutes, and you can send your questions by the YouTube comment section, Facebook and Twitter, and it's best if you send them by YouTube comment section, and also just give me your feedback on what you think about this new Let's Play series, playthrough series, sort of a thing, I really don't want to turn into one of these Let's Play channels that just does like, these <laughs> Let's Play videos, I guess. I mean, I, I really want to put as much editing into my videos as I possibly can. But this would sort of be as a side thing, so if you guys are interested, I can keep doing it. But if no one's really interested, I don't really want to be wasting my time working on those videos while I can actually be working on the stuff I would usually be working on. I mean, I would work on two things, but there's no point in just wasting stuff on the other. Alright, so just tell me what you think and if you would like to see those types of videos. Alright, so also don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe as it really helps the channel and keeps all these videos going and all the channel, pretty much the entire channel growing and the video quality improving. And thanks a lot for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and see you next time.